This is Michelle Getzinger here, and I'm with Candidly Yours. This is Mike Leonardi, and uh, we just want to see how, how you got started in the business. Uh, forever. Forever? Yeah. It's a, it sounds cliche, but pretty much my whole life. I had, you know, the Fisher-Price camera as a kid, and my mom says I ran around and took, you know, photos of people's feet. Did you go to school for it? No. No? I failed a course, actually, in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still in my transcript. I got mad uh, that the teacher failed me. Everything was fine, except uh, there was one project I couldn't figure out. It, it was all film back then, and I couldn't figure it out. And she failed me, and it's still there, and yes, here we are. Here that? we are, full-time for uh, <laughs> four years and uh, on the side with weddings since 2007. So So what's your specialty? You don't always have to go to school, kids. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> uh, specialty has become this, the real estate listings. Uh, I work for some architect firms and, and kitchen designers and, and planners, and... Um, I've done home inspection things because of the roof. They don't want to, you know, go up on the roof, so I get the drone up. Um, but uh, it started out with weddings from a paid standpoint, mm -hmm. and about 200 and some weddings later in a couple different countries. I've slowed that down. I think the market's changing a little bit with that, or at least for me. Um, and the real estate's kept me just busier than I probably should be. Yeah, and I yeah. appreciate it. You've done a lot of shoots for me. Yeah. Thank you. I and you, you had to say you passed me. You passed me around the yeah, office pretty great. well, and passed you around the office. Yeah. <laughs> use me and abuse me and sell the houses, and that's okay. No, it's been a fun ride. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a little bit different, I think, than some people because um, I think they th there's this potential misconception you have to use a tripod and bring fancy lighting and everything else, and and you don't. You just have to know how to make composition. So here with the wide-angle lens, I'm pretty much. Half of this, you know, big, big window, uh, feature window, whatever you want to call it, and almost the whole kitchen. So my flash bounces backwards, it'll hit this wall, fill in, and my camera settings are all, you know, perfectly fine to have this exposed correctly. So I'll take it, and if you want to kind of creep over my shoulder, uh, we can do that. But, uh, you know, the cameras nowadays, there's a leveling line in here, so I know that everything's nice and straight. And, uh, you know, that was the shot we just took. How do you pick your camera? So I was married to Canon for uh, 12 years. I was in love with Canon, and the last wedding I did last year, I was just kind of sick of like the pain. And I mean, you you know, you got the camera, so you probably realize too. But everything just seemed crooked because it was heavy. Yeah. And everything's kind of going towards mirrorless technology. So I did probably three months worth of research and and just YouTubed and reviews and everything and I finally went with the Fuji X-T3 and I bought their whole lineup of everything I need and another body and all this other stuff from batteries and uh, really haven't looked back you know I got rid of what some people would say is even better equipment for for this but it's lighter and easier to, to carry and uh, I just I love it I haven't looked back yeah uh, so yeah I mean hopefully everything keeps going that direction because I don't have any <laughs> any of the Canon left so I'd have to just go you know re-shop yeah. but uh, yeah it's been it's been good What's been your favorite project that you've worked on? And sorry if I'm putting you on the spot. No, that's fine. That's what I guess it's all about. Um, yeah, I forgot makeup too. So, you know, <laughs> hope, hope we're okay. Is the lighting okay in here? Or, or do I look like a raccoon? Um, favorite project? That's a tough question. I mean, I did a wedding in Turks and Caicos, which is pretty hard to top. And uh, one in Mexico for an old friend of mine. I've done some things where people have come back to me and said, hey, you know, this one photo was super special and, you know, grandma passed away and that's what we kind of had, you know, on display. And, and that's like, you know, super, super touching. Um, but even, even like as simple as a house is super important because without good representation and, and, you know, good marketing on your end and, and teaming up with me to do the photos, you know, people aren't going to, to maybe come back and see it or, or come to see it in the first place. So uh, even the real estate listings are fun, but I've done some things for a couple architects and some of those projects have been really um, just really cool to be a part of. Um, and you did that Frank Lloyd Wright house. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did the Frank Lloyd Wright house a couple different times. What was that? Already two years ago, maybe. That was. At, yeah. At least, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I mean. I've been in a lot of really neat places. Mm -hmm. um, you know, castle-like houses and just some really cool renovations. And you know, you make like the HGTV joke. It's like, wow, you know, you showed me a picture when we got here, and then this is what we walked into. And so, yeah, just a lot of really neat things. It's a way to freeze time, and that's what I've always gotten a kick out of. Well, that's a cool way to think of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I mean, it's a middle moment in time that you can freeze in any given second after the fact. That's already gone. So, you know, if you don't take the picture, you can't recreate it. And mm -hmm. even if someone says, "Well, you could," no, you really can't, because the true emotion's already gone 
because the, the no, you know the moment's gone. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's important. Yeah, I know. I just got really <laughs> deep, man. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, man. I was in the car for an hour and a half in traffic, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I just have fun, you know. And I, and I make the joke now that I'm like an HR nightmare, so I have to kind of be my own boss because I would probably get in trouble <laughs> left and right, and. Uh, you know, and, and I get to dress like a 12 year old and, and you know, not shave and <laughs> <laughs> come across semi homeless, but I'm not. And, uh, <laughs> you know, meet with tons of different people and, and help, you know, out, whether it's a house or a family session or a wedding. It's mm -hmm. just, uh, it's been a fun, fun it's adventure. Fun yeah. It's been, it's been great getting to know you. And if anybody Thanks. is interested in some high quality photography, um, just click below. We're going to have the link and all of Mike's information. It can't just be yours.